Hey guys, it's Mariner. I know it's a little late to start coming, but I haven't yet to see this replay, so I'm watching it for the first time, and one thing I'm immediately appreciating is just how cautious he is approaching his opportunities to flank. So what he sees here is a chance to get some free shots into all these guys. Doesn't look like he was necessarily spotted for that. He's just been doing a very good job of generally staying out of harm's way and to leave someone on uh, 1 HP with a low roll. He can't stay in here before we'll, absolutely, we'll own him. So it looks like he's going to come down here and kill this Type 64. Looks like the 54 is coming after him, so let's see how does he approach this. Well, he pours it with a little bit of bad driving. Oh, looks like the 54 forgot about him. He's making very good use of these buildings in the center aisle. Uh, that's unfortunate. Thus far, he's certainly done his point. Uh, he's certainly carrying his own weight here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Aimed possibly a little bit too low, but that should have still should have gone in. Very nice snapshot there. Probably could have shot through the wall there, maybe. This is uh, looking like a very fun situation here. He's up against a 111 for a T30 Tiger II and a, <clears throat> another uh, 4190 girlfriend. You can lay on this shot. That's a big time help, but he needs to get out of this area though. Should have a tiger showing up behind him here in a second. He's doing good on his ammo. This could be the decisive engagement here. Nice juke. Nice track. There's the T30. The 41's probably clipping. 
And he just got spotted. Good thing the 111 4 is out of position. T30 just fired. Hesh for the bomb, of course. Making really, really good use of the buildings. Of course, the guy's yellowing them. Nice shot there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Overall, very, very good use of the buildings in this terrain to really just enhance his tank's ability to flank. Especially with uh, such a light-skinned vehicle on a map which is somewhat notorious for... Um... Oh, yeah. Gotta load the hash here. Notoriously bad for his light tanks in uh, some situations. Oh, gotta love that. Anyway, crap, I gotta say, I really have appreciated this uh, battle. Well done. Very well played, guy. GG. Alright, hey guys, it's Marine here. We're here with uh, Bulba, Platoon, and specifically, Mr. Krabidoff, a fellow purple poster over at Watt Labs, and this was his first ace in the 4090 Walker uh, Girlfriend. So this is the first time I'm watching it, so let's go ahead and see what he does here. So I don't know if he's going to snipe up here for a little bit, or if he's going to try and counter any light tanks which might try to make their way up here. The enemy team does have a 132 platoon with some arty and a T-49. So it looks like he positioned here to uh, maybe counter some scouts. 132 is up north. Or I'm sorry, very far south on the one line. So I don't know if he's pushing for the mid position, making a lot of spotting, but you can get yellowed, or if he's going to go over here. Yep, we got some good lights over there. That guy was tunneled hard. Very sneaky shot. It looks like his uh, buddy. And the T-49 got shut down by artillery. Some nicey, nice juicy I-6 butt here. And he's loading the proper round for this, which is the Hesh. And he only penned for 98. Interesting that the... I six couldn't spot him. Hmm. Oh, that was dirty, dirty.
That was a very nice shot, though. So the Super popped up and the KV-3 popped up. Oh, KV-3 and a stock gun. Oh. It's doing the correct thing here and just backing out and experiencing some of the joys of the physics. Yeah, here comes that super. Very, very lucky there, he didn't get splashed. Oh man, great timing on artillery part and to get that additional tracking shot. Well, well done. He's correctly low to the heat here. And it looks like the, fortunately the GW Panther hit his gun. The T-49 was looking to come and yellow him. He's in a little bit of a corner here. He's not getting lit. Looks like the KV-3 is uh, going to try and yellow him. He still needs to be mindful of that 49. Looks like the 49 gave up. And he fired. Uh, the SU-152 may be firing heat or the... Uh, or the guy took an arty strike. Not sure which. So there's still an enemy T-29 which has yet to be spotted so... Alright this is where the fun begins. You have a potentially AFK T-29 and three artillery. You have some. Oh, looks like he hit his uh, gun there. That's an arty party. There's a 29. Should be able to make some maneuvers to get around him and unload some hash in his butt. Oh, that was glorious. So he's picked up a lot of spotting here. Nice. Let's see if we can get one more. Nah, it doesn't look like he's to pick it up. Overall, very smart with his trades and the lack of trades actually. He doesn't trade his HP poorly at all. Just overall well played, well flexed out, and uh, I definitely picked some stuff up about my own engagements with light tanks um, that I hopefully will start to display on my own. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed it, and I know I did.